Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Thanksgiving. Got a few little waves out here this morning, breaking on the sandbars. A little overcast today. Some rain possibly moving in from the Gulf later today. 65 degrees right now. up in the north end of area two. One of my favorite spots to start our beach walks. A little breeze out here this morning. No red tide here at Del Norwegans. No red tide, thankfully. Red tide to the north of us. There's red tide out offshore of us out in the Gulf, and there's red tide to the south of us, but no red tide here at Del Norwegans. Very, very fortunate. Take a little stroll on the beach this morning, see what we find as the tide comes in. A couple little sandpipers right down here in front of me. Behind me, a little further up the beach to the north, I saw one of our great blue herons. Hopefully it will still be there when I turn around and walk back up the beach. Haven't seen the great, one of those great blue herons in a couple weeks. I'm not really seeing much of anything here along the beach as far as shells. So I'm going to turn around and start going the other way. There's a little rain in those clouds out there, not much. It's supposed to be heading this way. Well, yesterday morning, we got a real treat. We got to see a bald eagle. I always say, you know, they, that you do stand a chance of seeing one, and yesterday we finally saw one. That was really cool. Maybe we'll get lucky and see it again today. Sixty-five degrees and with this little breeze blowing it feels a bit cooler than that. The water temperature is around 80 degrees right now. Is everybody looking forward to their Thanksgiving Day feast? Hopefully you have some family to get together with or some good friends.
Up. Blue heron just took off. Darn it. It's just up here ahead of me. Looks like it's going to go, hopefully, just go a little further up the beach and we'll get a look at it. Not a whole lot of people out here yet. Probably get busier a little later this morning than everybody will go out, go out or go home for their Thanksgiving dinners. That's the blue heron. I don't know if you can see it flying around out there. People walking, we were just walking too close to it this morning. Now it's flying out into the Gulf. Hopefully it'll be back here. Beautiful birds. Well, it looks like it's flying up maybe to Barefoot Beach. Darn it. Well, at least it's here. There's a little snowy egret over here doing its snowy egret thing in the morning. Yesterday morning we got to watch one catch a fish. Where's everybody at this morning? Don't tell me everybody's still in bed. So guys, let's see if he catches something here. Really overcast out here this morning. Surprised this little guy can see out into the water. Got one. <laughs> Just amazing. Amazing how they can spot a fish. Just got one. That is incredible. Looks like we had a little erosion overnight up here. Look at this. Looks like last night's high tide chipped away at our beach here. I'm not seeing much of anything as far as shells go right now. Beach is all wiped clean up here. There's just some broken shells right along the shoreline here. What the heck is this monstrosity? <laughs> got coconuts <laughs> just a big old sand pile with shells and branches and coconuts okay that's different
There's a whelk shell. It's got a couple chips in it. Nice size little old lightning whelk shell. I'm sure somebody will pick that up. Pick that up and take it home. Well, I'm going to swing by Roy's house around 11. Around 11 o'clock this morning. Check in with him. Have a little chat. So I'll be doing a live feed of that. So if you're wondering how Roy's doing, you probably want to tune in. A little Thanksgiving Day visitation. He's got plans. He's going to be going out at 1. But he's doing good. As you can see in that picture, I caught him on his morning walk this morning and snapped off a photo of him to share with everybody. He's doing well. Still can't come to the beach, though. Not a happy camper. Good morning. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, all the barnacles all over that. It's, it's a treasure. I'm that is it. neat. It was, I'll check out wise. This was, was just sitting there like that? Yep. Wow, that is neat. You find all kinds of fun things out here. Yeah, <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <coughs> hmm. That darn red tide is offshore here. It's not along our beach, but it is offshore. And I am getting some whiffs of it here now and then. Every once in a while I get a little whiff of that red tide. Let's hope it stays offshore, please. Please, Lord. It is pretty heavy up to the north of us in Lee County, especially up around Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach. That's where the sand sculpting contest is taking place. That is quite an event too, wow. Good morning, how are you guys doing today? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Take a look back here to the east. You can see we're not going to see the sun here. It's pretty well socked in behind the clouds this morning. The sun's actually over there is where the sun rises to the southeast right now. Huh, haven't seen any ospreys in the trees. It's really hard to see right now. It's, it's just because it's so dark. The trees look black. You can't even see any color in them right now. Still thankful to be able to be out here though. I don't care if it's a little overcast. It is truly a blessing just to be able to come out here and walk the beach in the morning. And to be able to share it with my friends live on Facebook. That's the best part about it. I'm not alone. I have all you guys walking along with me. That's something to be thankful for. Don't forget what today is all about, please. Look at that old lightning well. It's pretty, pretty old and worn.
You know, no matter how bad things look sometimes, if you look deep down inside yourself, you're gonna find something to be thankful for. Always remember there's somebody worse off than you. No matter how bad or how tough times might be for you, there's somebody that has it worse. So be thankful today for what you have. And if you can share any of your blessings, do that too. Today is a day of not only giving thanks, but of all, but also of sharing. out here I am just looking as hard as I can to find a shark's tooth out here I thought maybe for Thanksgiving I'd find a shark's tooth out on the beach I'm not seeing any morning though. The tide's slowly making its way in. It is cool out here when that wind is blowing. That breeze is definitely cooling things down. How's it going? Thanksgiving, dude. Happy Thanksgiving to you also. You it. Did you bring that that shark's tooth? Very cool. We haven't found it. This is the first one. That. Wow. That is very, very cool looking. And you say that's from some kind it, of it, extinct it's, it's, That's what it says, a extinct it, sand uh, shark. Wow. That is a cool looking tooth. I've never seen that. I've never yet. either. Man, that is a collector's item right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice little find. Today hasn't been. No, not good today? No, not yet. Well, it'll turn around. It <laughs> All right. Have Happy day, Thanksgiving. Bro. Yep. Good luck. That was a cool looking shark's tooth there. That was from some type of extinct sand shark is what he found on the internet when he researched it. That was a very cool looking tooth. I'd be happy finding just a regular old shark's tooth. Doesn't have to be from some prehistoric animal. <laughs> little bit of blue sky peeking through there not much not much beautiful looking clouds though really cool looking clouds
Hmm, empty pockets so far. Haven't stuck any shells in my pockets yet. I don't know about you, but today is like torture for me. When I go home, we've got some friends coming over for Thanksgiving dinner, but the wife's got the, it's gonna have the turkey in the oven and I just, it tortures me smelling that turkey cooking all day long. Ugh. My mouth just waters all day long for that turkey. Makes the house smell so good. And then of course I get to carve it. So the benefits of carving the turkey are you get to nibble while you're carving. <laughs> That's the best when it first comes out of the oven. Oh. And then the leftovers. There's a little horse. A little horse conch, a little baby horse conch shell. Got a little chip in the side, but still a little keeper. A nice little horse conch. That's a cool little shell. So I got one shell. <laughs> And lots of little fighting conchs out here. Our little baby fighting conch shells. Lots of them on the beach this morning. Not seeing a lot of our, many of our feathered friends out here though. I don't know what they're up to today. Maybe they're hiding out. They don't want to be mistaken for turkeys. I did see that great, one of our great blue herons, but I think somebody walked too close to it and scared it away this morning. I was hoping to show you that big, that big beautiful bird. Olive shell rolling around. This rolled up. It's got a little hole in missing the tip of it there. A little tiny olive shell. You can see why it's so hard to find shark's teeth. You see all these little black stones? There's Little pieces of broken shells, little black stones. They look, a lot of them look like shark's teeth. So you really have a good, have to have a good eye to find those shark's teeth. One of these days, I'm gonna find one. One of these days. One of these mornings. Here you go. There's a turkey wing shell. Happy Thanksgiving. There's your turkey wing. Your turkey wing shell for Thanksgiving. A little fight.
flight in conch down here. Very sad, I have not seen any live fighting conchs in quite a while since the red tide, unfortunately. A little Florida fighting conch shell. Here's an old cone shell over here. Looks like an alphabet cone. A little cone shell. Lettered cone. I, Barbara told me these were called alphabet cones. That's a pretty nice little cone shell. A little chipped up. little seagulls out here. There's a whelk shell down in the water, what's left of a whelk shell. Not much left to it. Hang on there. Come on, camera. Not much left of it there. Hang on. Got to readjust my gimbal here. There we go. Looks like an old worn-out crown conch there, too. An old lightning whelk and an old crown conch. Really old, turning gray, they're so old. Starting to fossilize. Ooh, look at that. Look what just look what just washed up at my feet. Nice little sand dollar. Beautiful, beautiful patterns on it. Very, very cool. That is a really neat looking sand dollar. And look carefully when you're out here. See right down here? There's another one buried in the sand. Oh, only half a sand dollar. But that's how you'll find them. A lot of times they're buried. Well, that's a neat look. The back of that sand dollar is so cool. So, so cool. It just came washing up at my feet as I was walking along. I'm just going to leave it here for somebody else to pick up. It's a little hard for me to carry these. They're really fragile. I don't want to put it in my pocket. It'll break. I'm just going to leave it out here for somebody else. Let's see what else is buried in the sand? Another broken crown pump. 
piece of a crown palm buried in the sand. These are so cool. Focus there, camera. There you go. A few pelicans fly by, there goes one there. I'm not seeing as many shells as were out on the beach as yesterday here. Not as many as yesterday. Oh boy, this would have been a nice find. There's the top, just the top of a horse conch. That would have been a great find. There's the top of a horse conch shell. Wish I'd found the whole thing. Not seeing any of those moon shells. Wow, we were seeing a lot of moon shells the past three days. Haven't seen any this morning. It's funny how they just come and go. Some mornings the beach is just covered in seashells, but others, nothing. Don't get me wrong, there's some nice little shells out here. But we've seen them all. They're not, it's nothing I don't have in my collection already. Like here's, here's a broken tulip. Looks like a big broken tulip shell. That's all I keep finding are broken shells this morning. Still beautiful, even though they're broken. Use your imagination. Think about what they look like if they're whole. In any murex shells either. Very, very quiet out here this morning.
There's a little scallop shell down here. It lost its little wings down at the bottom. There's a little scallop shell. But it lost the two little flat things. I call them their little wings at the bottom. Makes it look like a little fan. That's a scallop. quiet on Facebook here for a Thanksgiving morning. Everybody must be hard at work in the kitchen. There's another nice little turkey wing shell. Another nice little turkey wing for Thanksgiving. Gotta love them. The turkey wing. Here's a live cockle shell washed up on the beach. A live, little live cockle shell. I'll put that back in the water, but that gives me a chance to show you the little heart, the cockle heart. See that when you hold the beautiful little cockle shells, hold them on their end on the side. See how they make that beautiful little heart? That is so cool. This is a live one. I'll put it back in the water. That's the heart on the other side. The cockle shell. Beautiful little shells. I guess people eat those, make soup out of them, the cockles. There's another one, another little baby cockle up on the beach. Ooh, that, one's a, that one's a lot, you can see the inside there. Wish there was more sunlight here. There's the cockle itself inside. I'm gonna put it back in the water. That's the cockle, you can see it right in there. Put it back in the water.
all of those beautiful shells that we were, we were finding over the past three days and made their way back into the water. Just a couple little piles on the beach now. Not much left. Pieces of coral. A couple neat little pieces of coral. Little worm tips. Little wormies. Oh, there's a little angel wing. An angel wing, an olive shell, and a worm tip. Angel wing's a little chipped up, but I'm gonna keep it. They're so darn fragile. Here's what's left of a couple of lightning whelks down here on the beach. An oyster shell there. Two broken lightning whelks down there. There's a little clam shell down here. Something ate the little clam that was in there. There's a little clam shell. Definitely, I'm seeing lots of worm rock out here. Lots of pieces of worm rock again. All different sizes of worm rock washed up on the beach. Little golf ball sized pieces. Look at this little piece. That's cool looking, that little piece of worm rock. Oh, here's another one. Another neat little piece of worm off. Wow, that's a really cool looking piece right there. See all the little worm tubes? That's a cool piece of worm off right there. You might have noticed there, oh, before it washes away, there was a piece of a little broken pear whelk over there. Couple pear whelks. What's left of them? Another little cockle shell down here. Some pen shells too. Another little live cockle shell. We'll give it a little, we'll put it back in the water there. A little live cockle. Another quick look at the heart when you hold the cockle on its end. A little heart. Some pen shells over here. Two pen shells. It's funny how people have to race to get ahead of me on the beach picking up shells. <laughs> They're like porters. That's why they call it a pen shell. Use your imagination. See, it looks like a little writing pen. The pen shell. I'm sure you've seen these washed up on the beach. Saw a little lightning well somewhere. Where did it go? The waves might have washed it out already, washed it away. 
There's a little tiny whelk over here on the beach. Yep, it's gone. The waves already carried it out. And lots of beautiful broken shells this morning. Whoa. There's a little paper fig. That's what it's called, paper fig. Paper fig shell. I didn't get the sand out of it. This one's kind of cool. This one's got some barnacles on it, this paper fig. They're really super fragile. These are like glass. They just break. I don't, I don't like putting these in my pocket, and I don't like putting these angel wings in my pocket. Anything else here? Some seaweed up here, darn it. Not hurting anything, it just makes the beach look messy. You can see it washing in up here. I'm on, at the north end of the park right now, up in Area 5. Very, very, very overcast Thanksgiving morning here. The upper 60s right now. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying our little walk this morning. We found a couple little interesting shells along the beach. It'd be fun to see some dolphins. It's been a while since our dolphins have come by during our beach walk. They come by throughout the day, but we're just missing them lately. It's always a highlight of our beach walks. Later today, around 11 a.m., I'll be going over and visiting with Roy. So you might want to tune in. We'll do. I'll do a live feed. Happy Thanksgiving. Lots and lots of familiar faces when you come out to the beach in the morning. Lots of regulars out here. You think you'd be a regular if you lived here in Southwest Florida? You think if you lived here in North Naples, you'd come join me for a beach walk? I always say it'd be fun to have some company walking along the beach here. I could use a spotter when I'm out here shelling. Some mornings there's so many different things going on out here between dolphins and fish and birds and shells that an extra pair of eyes would come in handy. Got a little beach left to walk on here this morning. Not much. 
Another hour, this will be gone here when the tide comes in. There's one of our beach combers up here with his metal detector. Boy, the shells have just uh, like disappeared here. I was expecting to see more along the beach up here, but no. <clears throat> Got a whiff of that red tide. Whew. It is definitely out there. It is not too far offshore from us. It's up in Benita. There's the treasure hunter. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. Good seeing you. You too. See, our connection just fizzled out there for a little bit. Darn it. I always post a copy of this beach walk on YouTube a little later in the day. And the quality seems to be a little better. If you want to watch a replay, I'll share the link in the description of this post. What did we miss as I was walking up here? Are we gonna see some dolphins when I walk back? We just never know. It's constantly changing here with each wave that comes up on the beach. It brings something new. If you enjoy these beach walks, hit that share button. If you're new to the beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. And again, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So a quick update for those just joining. Technically there's no red tide at the beach here on shore at Del Norwegans. <clears throat> I am smelling it, it is offshore, not too far offshore. I am getting some whiffs of it now and then. It is to the north of us in Bonita Beach, Fort Myers Beach, and it's also down to the south of us on the beaches down in Naples. But it is not on the beach here, just offshore in the water here, in Del Norwegans. But it is lurking out there. Let's pray that it doesn't come ashore. Family of 
Schellers. Thanksgiving morning. Oh. Good job. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You too. <laughs> That's so sweet, hanging some shells on one of our new shell trees on Thanksgiving morning. Somebody in here flying a drone. Not supposed to be doing that. Here's a little message to all of our friends from somebody here, from one of our beach friends. What do you think it's gonna say? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends. Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I love doing it. I love keeping everybody updated on the water conditions out here. That's the primary purpose of these beach walks, is to keep everybody informed about the water conditions. Let you see for yourself, seeing is believing. If you do want to make a little contribution, I love it. I appreciate it. Every once in a while, somebody sends a little something, and I do thank you. If you do want to make a little donation, you can find my, a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. The other reason, besides keeping you updated on the water conditions here, the other reason is to bring people together. There's a lot of great friendships that have been made during these beach walks. And what's truly amazing about the friendships is they'll start here in the comments and they actually turn into personal friendships and people actually meet on this beach face to face. Just from the interactions and commenting and becoming friends through social media. Just amazing. I have made some wonderful friends from all around the world through these beach walks, and so have other people. I mean, it's just amazing when you think of the power of social media. And I always encourage people to comment. Please comment. Don't be afraid to comment. You don't have to talk about the beach. You can talk about what you're doing. If you're having any hurdles you're trying to jump over, if you're having a hard time, if somebody died and you're feeling, feeling down, share that with the group. That's what we're here for. Support. That's what friendship's about. Supporting each other. The only thing we try to stay away from is politics. Other than that, talk about whatever you want. 
talk about going shopping tomorrow. I'm not a big supporter of Black Friday, but feel free to talk about whatever you want. Hmm. I see a dead crab on the beach. That's not a good sign. A dead, little dead blue crab right over here. That's not a good sign. Please, red tide, stay away from us. Really overcast today. They said it might even rain later this afternoon. So there might be some rain coming in off the Gulf. There's a little snowy egret out there looking for breakfast, looking for Thanksgiving breakfast. I don't see any fish out there. If that bird catches a fish, it's gonna amaze me. Did one come by? Yeah. Out there? Far out? Oh, did it? Oh, I missed it. Oh, darn it. They like to come in up here too. Up at the north end of area three in there. They come close in there too. It's hard. <laughs> you too. Darn it, I missed a dolphin. Well, they're out there. That's good news. I'm happy to hear they're out there. He might have come down to... Oh, there he is. There's somebody waving at something out there. I think it's, it's way out. I can't even zoom in to get it. It is so far out. Darn it. I'd love to see a dolphin this morning up close. It's making its way down to the south. But it's way, way, way out there way out past there's a marker I don't know if we're gonna see it out there or not it's over just by that marker I don't know if you can see the marker out there it is really really far out there Too dark out here this morning to see in the camera. Darn it. Well, there's a dolphin out there, I swear. I swear there's one out there. I think I saw two of them. Will it come in closer to shore? I don't think so. Darn it. 
that is definitely a highlight is seeing some dolphins out here, especially when they come right up to the beach. Yesterday, yesterday morning, we got to see a bald eagle. That's not unheard of here, but it is rare. It doesn't happen a lot. Yesterday morning, we got to see a bald eagle sitting up atop one of the pine trees. That was very, very cool. That's actually the first one I caught during one of my beach walks. I've seen them out here when I've been at the beach. That was the first bald eagle that I saw during a beach walk. Kind of a dreary day out here this morning. Still folks out here walking the beach though. Looking for shells. Just out taking a morning walk. I don't see that dolphin. It is not surfacing. It is, I just can't see it. It's so far out. A lot of times the dolphins will come right into the beach, right up in this area up here. The water's a little deeper and there's lots of fish right along the shore. And they will come right up to the beach. That happened a couple weeks ago. Had a great dolphin encounter. Go through my videos. You know, you can search the videos on Facebook. When you go into somebody's videos, there's a little search box on there and just put keywords like Dolphin encounter. Dolphins, you'll find the videos where we've seen dolphins. Some of the encounters are just spectacular, just incredible. A lot of those experiences I got to share with our friend Roy. I do miss him out here. I'm gonna go spend some time with Roy. I'm gonna go sit and chat with him at around 11 today. I'm gonna do it live on Facebook. I know it's been a while since you've seen Roy here on Facebook. So you definitely wanna tune in for that. I'll get him to play his harmonica for us. Get him to play a couple tunes. There's a little olive shell down here in the water. I just grabbed it, went rolling by in the waves. Nice little olive shell. They always seem to have other shells stuck in them when you pick them up. shell. It's like a big piece of spaghetti. And there's a little angel wing shell I found earlier this morning. A little angel wing. kicking in now. Quite a breeze. So we look down to the south. Thank you. 
What happened? What is this? What is it? What is that? That is an arrowhead. Yes, it is. You could find these. A lot of people. You found them. Yeah, a lot of people find arrowheads on. That's a. That is almost looks like a spearhead. It's cool. That's a spearhead. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Our friend Bill from Canada, he finds arrowheads out here all the time. Ash yeah. finds them too, my daughter. That is. That looks more like a spear than an arrow, but yeah, that is an arrowhead. That is. You can it's find a little cool. bit. Yep, yeah, you can find a little bit of everything, everything out yeah. here. That is real cool. Nice find. Found it. <laughs> yeah. Great find. <laughs> that is cool. One of our happy rangers. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, James. Great Happy. day for the beach. Great day. Absolutely. How are you? I was getting some whiffs of that bad red tide up there. It's Isn't out it? there. It's out there. It's not on the beach, but well, that's good. It's huh? in Bonita. Why? But keeping my fingers crossed. Now go chase. There's a guy with a drone up there. Chase him out of the park. Where's he at? He was up in Area Five. He was sitting on one of the picnic tables, flying it around. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, All you guys. You do a great job. Yeah. Patrolling our beaches. Trying to keep them clean. Yep. No drones allowed in Florida State Parks, folks. If you didn't know that, if you get a drone for Christmas, do not bring it out to a state park. Or... A any of our county parks in Collier County, same with Lee County, off limits to drones. You need to get special permission to have a drone out here. And guess who has special permission to do that? Yours truly. One of these days we're gonna bring the drone out and fly the beach and give you a look at it. We can go live with the drone but I don't know we'll see maybe we'll do a live flight along the beach I'm just gonna stand there for a minute and let you Enjoy the sounds of the waves. There behind the clouds, just above them trees up there. That was neat, huh? Seeing that arrowhead or spearhead, whatever that was. Find some pretty interesting things out here in the water. Fossils, some really cool fossils out here. But this beach before we were here, before we developed 
Naples Park and built all these condos. This was inhabited by Indians, Indian tribes. Back in the old days, Calusa Indians. Very interesting tribe, the Calusas. Mastodons. You know what mastodons are? They look like big those mammoths, woolly mammoths used to walk these beaches. Believe it or not, they have found tusks from woolly mammoths along these beaches and teeth. Crazy, huh? This beach does not belong to us by any means. It belongs to all the creatures around us. Remember that. Respect all the wildlife when you come out to our parks and beaches. You're in their home. They're just allowing us to use it. Hey, here's a cool little worm shell down here. There's a cool little worm shell. Another little snowy egret here. That's a little one. That's a young one right there. That's a small one. It's making its way north up the beach. Wow, some sunlight. You squint your eyes really hard. You can see sunlight hitting the condos up to the north of us. See it up there? I wish it'd come out here. Use some sunlight on our beach here. It's a pelican flying around there. That little speck. Not a whole lot of shells this morning. Kind of limited on the shelling. We did find a couple interesting things though. Did not see any ospreys. Did not see any ospreys this morning in the trees. I saw a dolphin way offshore swimming to the south. He was way out. that red tide here again. It is not on the beach yet, right on the shore. It is offshore, but there is red tide out there in the Gulf. It is to the south of us. It is on the beach down in Naples and up in Benita. But right now it hasn't made its way to the beach here at Del Nor Riggins. but you can smell it once in a while.
a contrast between today and yesterday. Yesterday we had that absolutely clear, crystal clear blue sky. Now it's just kind of overcast and dismal. Still thankful to be out here though. No matter what. A blessing. It's a blessing to be able to come out here in the morning. There's some pelicans flying by. See if we can see them here. There they go. A little flock of pelicans. Pan around here to the north. You can see the sunlight hitting the condos up there on Fort Myers Beach. We got sunshine up there up by the sand sculpting contest. No sunshine here for us though, darn it. You can see there's a lot of people showing up here to Thanksgiving Day. It looks like a little sun hitting Bonita Beach up there now. Wow. It's great. It's going to work its way down here to us. There's actually a little sun starting to come out here. You can see it right over in here. Starting to see a, a few shadows. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. a little glint of sunlight here you can see how it changes the colors of the water when that sun hits it beautiful Morning. Wow, sunlight. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Comes a couple of pelicans. I love it. I love it, love it. The sunshine's starting to pop out through the clouds. Absolutely beautiful. Some little snowy egrets making their way up the beach here. There's 
There's three of them here. I don't know if you can see them. One down here under the comments. One up there and one up a little further. I hear an osprey. An osprey just landed up there in the tree, in the pine tree. Let's go check it out. I hear it up there calling out. It's up in the top of the pine tree, right up there. Another little snowy egret flying in. Ooh, there's a little group of them up here now. Let's see if we can get a look at the osprey up here in the tree. Uh, that one just got a fish right there. Just got a fish. And there's the osprey up here. There's one of our beautiful ospreys. Beautiful birds. Yesterday we got to see a bald eagle. That was amazing. I don't know if you were with us when we saw that. That was quite a sight. We saw a bald eagle up in Area 5. This is an osprey. Much smaller than a bald eagle. That's the osprey we're hearing. Boy. Making a lot of noise up there. Pretty sure that's a female. Very cool. Very cool. And I'm glad we got to see one of our ospreys this morning. Boy, she is making up, tripping up a storm up here. Right directly up over my head there. Noisy, noisy. Noisy little bird. Wow, the sun's starting to hit the water. Great ending to a beach walk this morning, huh? The sun coming out. All we need is one of our dolphins to come swimming by here. Darn it. We had a great dolphin encounter right in this area a week or so ago. Just came up to the beach and swam back and forth.
Well, I think the sun's gonna be playing peekaboo with us here this morning in North Naples. We're right on the fringe, it looks like, of this big cloud bank. Hopefully they'll blow away. At least we got a little sunshine now. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. Again, there's no red tide on the beach here at Del Norwegan. No red tide. It is offshore. It's not on the beach. It is offshore. There is red tide to the north and south of us on the beaches. But not right now, right here at Del Norwegan's. We're in good shape. However, you can smell it every once in a while. It is blowing in. It's out there in the Gulf. You do get a whiff of it now and then. But look at that view. Wow. There is that beautiful view we've all come to love. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I like this day, but I love it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a blessed and safe Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving weekend. Remember, I'll be chatting with Roy live starting around 11 o'clock this morning. I'll do a little live feed from Roy's house so we get to see him. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.